So a developing headline tonight involving the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani. Two men helping Giuliani investigate Joe Biden in Ukraine. They're now under arrest tonight. The two men taken into custody at the airport with one-way tickets out of the U.S. just hours after having lunch with Giuliani at the Trump Hotel. Tonight, what they're charged with and their photographs with President Trump and his son. And the president pressed on this late today, asked if Giuliani could be indicted next. Here's our chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, now. The two American businessmen who helped the president's personal attorney, Rudy Giuliani, investigate Joe Biden in Ukraine were scheduled to appear before Congress today and tomorrow. Instead, Lev Parnas, who was born in Ukraine, and Igor Fruman, who was born in Belarus, were arrested overnight by the FBI at Dulles International Airport outside of Washington. They were about to board an international flight with one-way tickets. The Wall Street Journal reports that just hours earlier, they dined with Giuliani at the Trump Hotel. The men now charged with illegally funneling campaign contributions, including some from Russia, to a PAC supporting President Trump and other candidates as well. Federal prosecutors say they were doing it to buy potential influence. Photographs show them smiling with the president at the White House at a table with his son, Don Jr. According to prosecutors, they were also hoping to force out the U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, Marie Yovanovitch. They saw political influence not only to advance their own financial interests, but to advance the political interests of at least one foreign official, a Ukrainian government official who sought the dismissal of the U.S. ambassador to Ukraine. The other person who allegedly wanted Ambassador Yovanovitch out, Rudy Giuliani, who was frustrated she was blocking his efforts to get Ukraine to investigate Biden. Yovanovitch was removed from her post, and Giuliani acknowledges he played a role. Her name later came up in President Trump's phone call with the Ukrainian president, Trump calling Yovanovitch bad news, adding cryptically, she's going to go through some things. Late today, the president saying he may have posed for pictures with the two men who were indicted, but that he does not know them. Maybe they were clients of Rudy. You'd have to ask Rudy. I just don't know. Well, I hope not. Let's get to Pierre Thomas with us live on this developing story in Washington. And Pierre, the former American ambassador you spoke of there, the ambassador to Ukraine, uh, she's expected to testify before Congress tomorrow. But of course, the big question uh, this evening is, will she actually be allowed to show up by the State Department? David, Marie Yovanovitch is scheduled to appear before Congress first thing tomorrow morning. She's expected to attend. But David, the State Department could try to block her testimony at the last minute. And tonight, we've learned lawmakers have also subpoenaed those two associates of Giuliani indicted today. David? Pierre Thomas tonight. Thank you, Pierre. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.